Greetings, programs. Welcome back to Tron 2.0. Last time, we finally rescued Mithria and escaped the Corrupted Lab server ahead of the reformat, but lost Mercury in the process. Uh, now, I do need to say that I decided to go ahead and change the difficulty back down to normal. Well, it's fun to maybe watch me struggle maybe once. Uh, it would not... Uh, it would not continue to be. So, uh, I'll still die on normal mode, just uh, not as often. Oh, let's get started. Mathria, I want answers. Why did you digitize me? The situation had become critical. My existence was threatened by the spread of the corruption. So you dragged me in here because of a virus? Alan One computed that a user would be 526 times more powerful operating from within the system than from without. Why me? Alan One was not available. Alan Two was. My name is Jet. Alan is my father. Father? You mean Alan One is an earlier version of you? Well, something like that. My father. Mathria, what happened in the lab? Okay. Oh, let's stick with the disc. Yeah, that'll do. I'll show you. Access this archive. Okay. It's a video archive. algorithms that are needed to eliminate errors during transfer. Yes, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm still working on that problem. Calculating algorithms is a complicated... Spare us the charade, Mr. Bradley. We know where you are in your research. All we want are the algorithms. Once we verify that they work, you'll be free to go. You're wasting your time. You have one hour to reconsider. After that, no more Mrs. Nice Guy. Your frumpy company is no more, Mr. Bradley. FCON Industries is the future, and your talents, however antiquated, can still be a valued asset if you choose to join us. If not, we will appropriate the correction algorithms one way or another. Who are those people questioning my father? They appear to be associated with Future Control Industries, also known as FCON, FCON is launching a takeover of your company. What are correction algorithms? Correction algorithms are routines that correct errors inherent in the digitizing process. Mathria, can you send me back? I must return home. Sorry, Jet. The reformat erased all vital routines critical to the digitizing process. I can't do it on my own. Strange. I've just received a call signal from Guest. Okay. We have a little better idea of what's going on. By the way, if you go back to take a look at the very first cutscene, you might see some faces you now recognize. Right, so this is Alan's desktop. Outgoing communication is not currently supported. Activate the correct sequence of programs to configure the COM port. Okay. COM ports. And we can't do it ourselves. Ooh, it's close. So, we've got... Panel we can use to cycle the comm rings. Four things and four programs. I'm on it.
Such a pointless puzzle. Connecting to IO grid. Chad, what do you make of this? A prayer you still intact. I pray about revealing the correction of both. I had no choice. Ron legacy. You must find it. Guest, who are you? Do you know an Alan Bradley? He works in User connection terminated. Sorry, Jess. The link with guest has been broken. Tron. That was a program my dad wrote years ago. But what's Tron Legacy? An inferior sequel. To answer your requests. There must be a connection between the correction algorithms and the Tron Legacy code. I'll perform a system search. I have located a severely fragmented email that contains strings of text referring to Tron Legacy. Is it repairable? If you can manage to retrieve the three fragments of the email, reconstructing them should not be a problem. Node deactivated. Okay. So we need to go into the archive stacks and get these fragments. Let's see if we can make that. Lost and found to Alan Bradley from Sergeant Dawson, March of 98. Good afternoon, Mr. Bradley. During your visit with us yesterday, you must have inadvertently left your wallet on the counter while filling out Jet's release forms. The cleaning service turned it in last night. You're welcome to come by at your earliest convenience to reclaim your property. Thank you, Sergeant T. Dawson. And another. Subject, Trouble at School, to Alan Bradley from Bond at Valley High School, March of 98. Good day, Mr. Bradley. I have received several reports from the faculty here at Valley High concerning Jet's despondent behavior during class. His flippant responses are often disruptive, and his lack of respect towards his teachers is terribly inappropriate. Jet is a good boy and quite smart. However, as principal, I must request a conference with you in the hope of resolving this potentially destructive path he is currently on. Can you make Tuesday at 5.30? Thank you, Mr. Bond, principal. It would seem Jet is, has been something of a problem child. Go. Energy and health, always a bad sign. Can you retrieve Tron Legacy Code email fragment number one? Certainly. And off he goes. All the way back there. Come on. Here's fragment number one. Have a nice microcycle. Thank you. All right, Tron Legacy Code to Kevin Flynn from Alan Bradley, August of 84. So not too long after the movie. I'm a little confused. I noticed that the Tron Legacy Code is no longer listed on the fourth quarter schedule. Is there something I should know? Alan Bradley, senior programming engineer. Alright, that was lots of fragments and more part of a- oh, hello. More part of a chain. Any more? Okay. Triangulate and not enough energy to get the unknown. 
Well, we definitely want the one we know we don't have, so... Download this first and come back, hopefully. Alright, triangulate. Alright, this is a really cool one. It's giving a zoom capability for all weapons. We don't need this right now. So, pretty cool. Email. Wait, I already have this permission. Oh well. Subject, your grades to Jet Bradley from Alan Bradley in February of 99. Jet, I was disappointed when I saw your report card. A's in your comp sci classes don't make up for three incompletes. I wanted to talk to you about this in person, but you never seem to be home. Call me at work, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I already have this. Okay. Low energy. Can you retrieve Tron Legacy Code email fragment number two? Sorry, that's restricted information. Okay. I need that fragment. How can I get it? Eliminate the finder scanning the stacks. <laughs> Cover, come on. There we go. Alright, while he's getting that, let's go pick up that subroutine we missed. Fragment number two. Alright, Tron Legacy Code to Alan Bradley from Kevin Flynn. Sorry, Alan, I'm pulling the plug on the Tron Legacy Project. I know, I know. I requested the upgrade. But, as you know, research and digitization is behind schedule. In fact, destroying the Master Control program has set us back to the Stone Age. Anyway, the board of directors wants our top programmers moved to the project, and you, my friend, are one of the best. Report to Walter on Monday. I realize shelving Tron hurts, but look at it this way. You'll be working side by side with your lovely wife, Kevin Flynn, Senior Executive VP. Yes, thank you. Oh. I hate finders. while walking on a narrow platform. Alright, now check for finders. I love triangulate. Although the uh, sniper rifle is probably is probably better if you don't mind the slow time between shots. One more email. Home late to Alan Bradley from Jet, August of 98. Going over to a friend's house. Be home sometime. Jay. There's even more finders. Let's bring out the LOL. Uh, oh, we got the 
Beta Suffusion. Tron Legacy Code email fragment number three. Not while those fighters are scanning the stacks. Email fragment number three. Tron Legacy Code to Kevin Flynn from Alan Bradley, August of 84. As much as I hate the idea of putting a project half complete to the side, I can't deny the logic behind your decision. Tron Legacy is unnecessary if we are not able to digitize anything in the first place. I'm putting the source code and the latest build notes on our dedicated memory mainframe, EN1282. Alan Bradley. P.S. Oh, and yes, working with Laura should be great fun. Unfortunately, we know how that turned out. Connecting to IO Grid. Mathria, I've got it. Tron Legacy appears to be an update to the original Tron program. My father stored the code on mainframe EN12-82. Are you familiar with this system? I am, but it's no longer online due to user-activated standby. Can we bring it back online? Yes, but only by routing power to its primary operating system. How do we do that? We can't. Power routers are ICP-occupied nodes. Without the proper set of permissions, even getting close is impossible. We'll have to find a way. Meet me at the exit port. Node deactivated. Okay, power router. Oh, here we are. Uh oh. ICP's active. Block my disc. Block my disc again. Come on. Okay. Grab this permission. And then we can go back and get that other one. Well, unknown, already have that suffusion, and an email. How are you holding up? To Kevin Flynn, at another email, not NCOM, from Alan Bradley. October of 99. So glad to hear from you, old friend. There's no need to worry about me. I've gotten on pretty well since the passing of Laura. It's Jet that I'm worried about. A real handful he's been. What are you up to these days? Are you still considering pitching your experience in the computer world to Hollywood? Hmm, I wonder who would play my part. Someone handsome, I hope. Anyway, thanks for the email, and don't be such a stranger. Alan Bradley. Oh. Alright, we 
have the permissions we need to get to the power router. And an unknown subroutine we still have to port. Beta suffusion. Let's use that. Yeah, suffusion's a pretty good weapon once it gets to beta. Not a long range weapon, though. Okay. Let's configure the exit port and move out. Okay. Hey, next time we'll make our way to the power router and see if we can get that old mainframe back online. End of line.